quarter was a neck and neck struggle. And when we pick up play at time on in the first, the scores were locked together at 22 points apiece. Our commentators at the Western Oval are Doug Hayward and Jeff Leake. On the outer side of the ground, with Purser doing the heavy work against Manton. Back towards centre wing where Bowers in front position, can't pick it up, gets it wide towards the near. Waitman is pushed and shoved. I thought he'd take a free kick, he will. Darrell Waitman, Darryl Waitman quickly on with it. Downfield where Kennedy and Roach contest. Roach! Was there a free kick before it? He's won the free kick before it, Doug, yes. Back down He's the got field to go right back, yeah. from whence it came. Waitman's the man who's going to take it. He was the man who kicked it to Roach. And now what will happen? Roach is led again, and it's a good pass. Oh, good thinking, Roach. Kennedy must have had a lapse in concentration there. He's given a 15-metre penalty, which makes up for the extra long lead that Roach made. And the champion Richmond forward could boot it from here easily. And if he does, any score will put them in front. The lead has changed four times in this quarter. Five times. It's level now on 22. It's a lovely kick from Roach. What a kick! It's a goal, a 50 metre shot for sure. He's second. He certainly can kick a football than Michael Roach. An awkward bounce once again. Purser cleverly to Wallace. Wallace left footer Rance Jess. Jess gets there first and Bauer comes, gets it across and taken by Ania. No palm it was. Over the back it goes. Hand pass to Waitman. Waitman's back towards uh, Foster. Foster to Rioli. Rioli onto his left foot. Steadies and kicks it beautifully. Kicks it beautifully. John Ania had one of the easiest marks you'll ever get in league football, but just had to wait for it. 11 possessions has Ania had for the quarter. That's an astonishing statistic in anyone's language. And what's happened in the meantime? I took my eyes off it well, too. Whilst we're watching in here, there's a free kick been given away and it's been given to Foster. What bad luck for Footscray. Lovely Mark Palm. Well, let's take the edge off it a bit. But Palm uh, just on the defence of the centre, another long kick. Uh, here's Eustace. Oh, they've got runners everywhere. Botting, 20 metres out. And he's goal. At the start of the second quarter, Richmond still led by 11 points. The second term, 34 points to 23. Lee gets it away from Persa. Hawkins in trouble. As usual, gets out of it. Left foot it with great power. Jess up above. Rance. Clever McPherson. Jess follows on. Royal again. And there's a free kick to Jess as McGuinness picked it up. Jess quickly out wide towards Smith. A long hand pass goes out to Bauer who fumbles this time badly and is picked up by McLean. He dodges and turns, gets away from an opponent. Out it goes to Hawkins. Hawkins kicks it long, looking for Crow. Crow goes up. And his only danger was Beasley stranding in behind him, his teammate, and Max Crow, who's kicked a couple. No, he's kicked one. Comes in for his fifth kick. Kick two. Max Crow comes in. Very talented player, the big fella, 30 years old, or maybe 31, been around for a long time. Kicks for goal, and he kicks it well. That's his third. Footscray's goal in the first minute of the second term was a timely one. It brings him within five points of Richmond. It's a lovely bounce to centre for the umpire. Lee gets a tap away. Frank Galas chips it out. Oh, it came well to him again. Bit lucky there. Oh, it went for a near, but uh, taken by Malin. He boots it across to his opposite wing player in Hawkins. Hawkins with Barrow on his back. Centre man Wallace gets it. Booms it down towards the half forward flank to Rance and Jess. And Jess is too good for Rance today. Richmond in possession. Into the big Ruckman Lee in the centre of the, the field now. on the long kick to half forward. Frank Galas from the back. Man in front's mark and it's a strong mark. I'll pick him up. It's Madden. The handball at the back to Lee. He's lumbering into goal 40 metres out. It's not, yes it is, didn't think it was straight. And the Tigers answer with a goal from good play, strong teamwork. Bounce favours Lee very, very much, and a clever punch out it is too. 
Lost that time by Frangalis. Kicked off the ground by Lee. Picked up by Waitman. Waitman, the left hand bouncer, does it badly. Eustace rescues it for him. Boots it downfield. Kennedy and Roach. Neither can get it. Roach recovers well. Kennedy pushes him out. Kicks it off the ground downfield. Waitman again. The little man, lightning hand pass. Great tackle, Hardy against the near. Picked up by Baxter. Baxter out in the Hawkins bow direction. And Hawkins beautiful. Over the top to Wallace is splendid. And Wallace is off down the field. Lovely football from both teams. And Footscray came out of the fence looking at well. What a McPherson. Players held up. Players held up a free kick for an offence that happened downfield against, uh, against Footscray. With Footscray running hot, but let's take nothing away from Richmond. They initiated that move. He's uh, ninth possession of Bauer. Purser on the back line. Killett ran through well. He's on the wing now. Booted to centre half forward to Crow. He's kicked three goals. Oh, and Beasley. He came from behind like a champion. You can see Crow couldn't take it. Beasley had made up his mind he was going to mark that one. Make no mistake about it. Beasley and Crow for Footscray are doing everything right. Crow with three goals, Beasley with one. Perfect day for the big men to mark the football overhead. Made it half himself, Simon kicked the 55 metre at least. That's a 60 metre kick from Beasley. A beauty. So it brings it back within five points again. By half-time, Richmond still led by three points. And we pick up play one minute into the third quarter with the Tigers still having that three-point advantage. Picked up by Eustace. It's been a good play for Richmond. Brad Hardy was taken off in that second quarter. Whipped out the back. It was Bauer. Wallace. Hawkins now. Hardy's a chance. Gee, I've never taken him off the ground. I know he... He, he causes... Things with indiscretion as he kicks a long one down to Beasley. Oh, Simon's looking good today, and I'm surprised at the faith that Tony Jewell's got in his opponent. But I'd never take Hardy off. He's loath to explode at any time, as he's proved there. The moment he's back on the ground, he's in the midst of some sort of team play. And here comes Beasley with his eighth possession. Shoots for goal. Nice kick, Simon. That's his fifth. That's a good day's work. And there's still a long way to go. Oh, lovely bounce in the middle. First he got up high. He's nodding for Richmond. Oh, ran into an army of uh, Bulldogs. Oh, high tackle on McLean looking for the free kick. Well, there hasn't been too many of these gang ups and wrestles. The odd one or two, but uh, pretty clean game, really. There's a bounce, and a good bounce. Oh, Lee thumps it straight to Hardy. Hardy gets out of trouble, just gets his kick. Petraglia in front, could have taken a free, must take a free. Oh, his opponent really never woke up. Petraglia now is Smith standing on the mark, and Simon Beasley again, a good leap. He's looking good today. A long hand pass goes out wide, and nothing gets pushed out of it. Picked up by Anir, who's been brilliant. And diving on at that time for the Tigers was Notting down there in the back line, and there's going to be a bounce. Which great keeping it in their forward line. They're three points in front of Richmond at the moment. Beasley kicked that goal to kick them there. He's McLean. The Royal! What a start to this third in important quarter as Brian Royal has shot through. A very important goal for them, which is first. Good ball, get it again today with 15 possessions. And the Bulldogs lead by nine points early in this third term. 18 minutes further into the third, and Footscray had increased their lead to 12 points. On to McLean. McLean then hooks it back to the goal square, and from behind, Beasley's got the chance again. In front is Somerville, turns and twists and hooks it back, and hooks it through. His second goal, and that was brilliantly done. And 
Wallace out there having a wonderful quarter. Eustace has been a strong player. Bounce is not good for Hardy this time, but here goes Notting, his opponent. Down with the ball, flicks it out the back. And once again, Kenny with superb anticipation, threads his way to the back, into the centre of the person. Into the back of Roach, and that's a mark, all right. Yes, over the top, it was a good mark, and a 15-metre penalty as well against Waitman. Waitman quiet today, too. Out to the running Petraglia. And he takes a mark. He's shown some dazzling speed in this quarter twice. And then a nice-looking pass, but Hogg is with Beasley. But Beasley, what a corner from Simon. Simon, the stockbroker. Oh, he's doing it so well. And there's Dean Notting in the hands of the trainers. Fourth mark this quarter. Fourth Simon mark Beasley. this quarter, and he's had the chance and should have taken a couple more, but we shouldn't put that against him because what he's done has really been done with unusual aggression from Simon Beasley. A wonderful quarter. A fine match, as a matter of fact. He's kicked five goals. Comes in to shoot for goal. No, not a good one. He's deserved some goals this quarter. That's five three he's kicked. Wasteful, isn't it, from Simon? Uh, he's earning the ball very well. One of his better performances for the season. And Richmond uh, are tailing off there in that position. Cowie and uh, Hogg can't contain uh, Beasley and Crow. And here's their former forward in this game. Uh, Broach having a run on the ball now. He wasn't successful either. They've kicked down uh, by Noel Level. Oh, good stuff there, Tatsaris. Well, if you have to play it, that was a fine mark. Tatsaris has been off the call in interchange. Two drives it downfield. Roach up and punches the ball out. Goes straight to Hawkins, who's absolutely dazzling. On to Malin. Malin across it goes and running. Here comes the runner. Petraglia kicks it across and fine mark on hold. Don't know where Simon went. He stood back he, and waited. Well, he was well, just he, a couple of metres yeah. yeah. What a lovely mark by Hogg. Jimmy Jess. Up, not this time. Petraglia again. He's been down for a couple of weeks, but he's a fire today. Caught there, red hot. Taken away by Eustace's kick, and he didn't really look, but maybe he did, but didn't know what to do. There's foot sprays, players everywhere. Hawkins' kick was he was thwarted, and he's got it. Waitman a chance, but clean. But a bit of fun with the Tigers, but going into attack at this stage. Frangales gets the kick, lead full forward now. Oh, he didn't mark that one. Kennedy's too good. They're fluffing it up on the, under pressure on the forward line, the Tigers. Now Hardy has it. A short one out there to Hawkins, and he makes the run. Here he is, the Brownlow medalist from the centre. A lovely kick out of Max Crow. Knocked away from him. But Tragley again, they'll pounce him now, he's playing so well. That's Eustace. Blindly handballs it across the line. Roach, it's out. Well, it's an exciting quarter for Footscray. They must be loving it. Hardy leading the charge. Simon Beasley doing everything right. Hardy's had ten possessions for the quarter. Down it comes once again, and here's the uh, Malin this time. malin has been a good player, so has Hawkins, and it's out of bounds on the full, and the free kick will go to a very, very distraught defence. This time it's Waitman. Waitman downfield, uh, Rioli goes up and takes the mark. Gee, he didn't know what to do with it, really. Taken him by Bauer, who has a run through the centre now, and the handle, or he near turn, he's back, and Hardy had his eyes on it. He'll make them rude they took him off in that second quarter. 40 metres, 50 metres, he's running to the 50 metre line, he's made up his mind, he wants to kick the goal, I think. Quickly in towards Ranch. oh, he's brought down by Rioli, he gave up then. Stealing it is McGuinness, kicks with the wrong foot, it's a goal, what a gem. Well, it was another game that featured a third quarter turnaround, with Footscray kicking six goals in that term. They led by 32 at the three-quarter time interval, and just slightly reduced at the final bell, Footscray running out winners by 27 points. Major goal kickers for the Scrays, seven to Beasley, four to Crow and three to Somerville, and for the Tigers, three to Roach and two apiece to Frangalis, Lee and Manton, and Stevie McPherson was reported for strike. Four to three there. Jim Jess, oh, it didn't come off. He tried to find Strawn. It's heading towards Footscray's goal. Pick up by Rance. Clear to Crow. Yes! Picked up by Bauer, doing well. Bauer downfield, Kennedy and Roach. Kennedy almost took it. Lovely interception by Geary. Roach, goal. It is. Yes, it's a goal. 
Kennedy long, a very long kick. Hawkins will go the leap. What a super mark. And Bauer can give it across to Anir. No, he doesn't. He kicks it downfield. And McPherson, a great leap. And McPherson plays on and boots it down. And here comes Beasley. Trapia. And Jimmy just read it better than anyone else. And ran it, mark it in the nick of time. Put on you, Jim. Nice football out to Wallace. And Wallace, you can go again and go further. He doesn't. Beasley charges at it. Oh, that was great. Big fellow Lee. There's a metre in front of all. He gives it to the man running through and a knee on the half four on a beautiful pass to Manton. Classic stuff. And Rand plays onto his left foot. It's a high one. Throw again. Beasley at the back, yes. Simon, you're alike. Oh, it's play on. Petraglia to Royal. The Rovers combine on. Selfie to Crow and it's a goal. Well played, Geary. Lost it. What's the umpire going to do? He's going to, going to go to Brian Moyle. It's Michael Egan. It's Michael Egan. You're right, Jeffrey. Yep. I hesitated. McPherson strong. Nearly played it. Rowling's danger. All stuff. Tough play. And down goes Rioli again from Wallace. And a very late call from the umpire. Yeah. Surprised to see Steve Wallace getting into Rioli like that. I don't really think it was meant. And Rioli's on his feet. He's had taken two very heavy blows today, and his 19th possession. Kicks it to Manton and Roach. And Fran Gallus. Oh, good tackle on there from Fran Gallus. Thought it was illegal, but the umpire called play on. A couple of players, a bit of hanky-panky there. Some biff and clout, and the umpire decides he'll ball up. Richmond's half-forward line. That's Manton for Richmond. Wait Waitman working very hard in the, that middle of that pack. Barrels the ball out. Hardy's not good play. He's level. The handball quickly to Geary. Geary 30 metres out to steady. Stand up and kick it. He did. And that'll push a bit of adrenaline and a bit of hope back into the Richmond side. Boozer for the umpires because I believe Footscray getting a rotten trot. But that's the first goal that Richmond have kicked since the ten and a half minute mark in that third term. And we're now at the five minute mark in this final quarter. There's young Geary, Richard Geary, trotting back or walking back. Well, I think Footscray have probably not got the best of the umpiring decisions. Up goes Mark Lee, brilliant person of Malin. Down it goes, an awkward bounce gives a chance. Oh, a shirt fronter into Little Somerville. And he grabs hold of the nearest leg he can find and stop knocking it away and gave away the free kick, but it was worth it. And Dean Notty now gets a 15-metre penalty as well. Kicks him back towards the centre of the ground. Foster, Manton, punched away by Foster. Well played, Waitman. Waitman, a clever hand pass out to Anir. Anir steadies and sends it out to open spaces very cleverly. Taken by Fran Galas. Fran Galas took just that bit too long. McPherson, a clever mark. Oh, he just held it long enough too. It was a clever mark, and the way that Frank Gallus kicked it was a wild kick, really. Egan sets himself in a good position out there as well. He's charged down to the uh, forward line. This fellow's been a good player, Steve Wallace. Ten possessions in that third term. So two to this fellow. He had ten possessions in that third term. It's Michael McLean. Their ball runners have been great. A six-goal to one-goal third term to the Bulldogs. Knocked away by Hobb. Scanning his Petraglia. G's got some dash. Desperate. Well played, Mayla. Some of them. Up into the goal square. Crow and Beasley the chance. Crow this time. Oh, it's not a mark. Doesn't know what to do with it. He's through it. Or holding the ball. I reckon that was absolutely a horrible decision. He almost took the mark. He was juggling with the ball. It's taken away from him as a free kick. That was really rough. For the man who did all the work, here comes Lee. Out towards Strawn. Good football, Royal again. Little short pass to McLean is clever, and McLean takes the mark. McLean now. Back it goes towards that full forward zone again. Max Crow up above the pack again. Nicely picked up in trouble and hand pass through. I'm very grateful to Smith to put it through for a point two for today. Young Smith uh, did the best he could do there. Craig Smith. And here's Jimmy Jess. Down the centre to Mark Lee. Now Lee and Purse are setting themselves. Purse knocks it away from Lee. The small players coming to play. 
Doug Hawkins. Jess and Beasley. The back. Oh, chip through. What a wizard. What a wizard of a kick. Lucky Simon, Jeff. <laughs> oh. That's his day, Doug. Yeah, that's, that's all we can say about it. When you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. When he's hot, that was really good opportunity for football to have a sling at it, but it went through like Maradona, didn't it? Diego Beasley. No, oh, they can't do anything wrong now. Sent about. Well played, Purser again. Malin being a clever player, pushed to the ground by Lee. Lee takes it away from me, but the umpire's blowing the whistle. And he's given another free kick to Richmond, and the Footscray crowd are really irate, but not really venting their spleen because they're leading so well. Out wide it goes. Nice lead by Lockman, but Hardy showed the judgment. Egan tries to battle for it. Hand pass from Lovell to Roach. Roach a left footer on downfield. They're going, and here comes Hardy to take on Geary. Geary's got Kennedy against him as well, and Kennedy gets it and hand passes out. And well played, Hardy, diving at the ball in desperate fashion. And they're looking for a free kick that was never on, and Richmond in attack. Hardy doesn't know the word of uh, not trying. Well, that's Frank Gallus. So well, he went up, took possession of the ball, and hoped for the best. And uh, as he was tackled, and I'm sure the umpire will ball it up. Now, Footscray leapt away from Richmond. Now they're 108 to Richmond, 75. Ball up. The Tigers, a couple of quick goals, could change the uh, complexion of the game, but uh, they've not. They've only kicked one goal since the 10 and a half minute mark in the third quarter. In come for Rick Kennedy to do battle with Roach. Footscray out of danger, always towards Hawkins if you can. He's so absolutely magnificent. Wallace comes in and takes them all on brilliantly, Anir being one of them, and over the line it goes out of bounds. But Stephen Wallace since half-time has shown the Wallace of yesteryear. Not that he's old, he's only a junior, a young man, but he's played beautifully. Here's Eustace, not much room to work in there, right to the boundary line, but can Roach Marcus. No, Kennedy intent on punching the ball away from him. Frank Gallus, he's McGuinness for Footscray. Well, the handball's bad. Jimmy Jess, a blind, wild shot. Oh, Waitman too short to take that ball out of Kennedy's grasp. Eustace, Roach back to Eustace. They're just kicking wildly. Footscray defence strong, pushing up all the while. Now it's Malin running very close to the boundary line, has the kick, puts the ball up towards the wing, up to where Hawkins battles for the power. He always gets him out of trouble. He is really magnificent, Douglas Hawkins. And look at the pass, how wide it goes. Just the right height and size for Foster. Foster then sends it downfield and Andrew Purser, but Max Crow flies over the back of Little Somerville, follows on his Petraglia, off he goes onto his left foot. Beasley and good spoil by Hogg. Yes, it was a good spoil by Hogg. This is where they're losing it, which but they've no one to contain the likes of uh, Hogg and Crow. Although Crow is not as prominent now. The kick coming out to Geary's way. He's marked it. Time running out for Richmond. On the half-back line now, and a 15-metre penalty uh, going Geary's way, and he kicks the ball down to the wing to, to Lee. Lee and Purser. Purser just waiting for the ball to hit Lee's hands before he punches it away, which he should do with the Ruckman. And the throwing coming up. Andrew Purser stuck to his huge task in great fashion today against Mark Lee, who's always dangerous. Down to rolling from Lee was clever. Awkward bounce gives a chance to Waitman. Nicely picked up by Eustace. Good dodging. Great pick up there by Tatsaris. And then Foster's kick is smothered. McPherson kicks it quietly out towards McLean but just trickles over the line out of bounds. Bad luck, Stephen McPherson. I think Richmond were waiting for Footscray's blistering attack on them in that third quarter. They just were intent on winning the game, and how often do we see a game one in the third quarter when Footscray kicked six goals to Richmond's one, and that was it. The end of the ball game. Michael McLean. And Mickey Malthouse has given Andrew Purser a rest, and Mike, uh, Max Crow comes on the ball to do some rucking with his great height and his big leap. He'll still worry Lee, too. Lee gets front position. 
very strong. Crow did it nicely. McGuinness, clever, clever. Out from McLean. On to Malin, looking good. Malin drives it out wide, looking for Persa. Scorns in front. Not well played that time. Persa going up for a rest, is expected to do all the leading. Strawn takes the mark. What a useful player, Strawn. Uh, doesn't look so quick, but he's a quick thinker, and he moves his position quickly. Crow and lead. Grabbed by Rollins. Puffing his cheeks as he goes. Not a bad pass to Jim Jess. Then Jess gets a call out there, or saw uh, uh, Eustace there, and kicks the ball down to Roach. It's Roach and Kennedy. Oh, Roach smothered. Egan, the back pocket play, picks up, and again, without even hesitating, kicks the ball widely across the other side of the ground. He knows Wallace and Hawkins will be there. Here's Bal Hawkins' opponent, who's beaten the champ at this stage, and quickly across to Ania. Here's a goal. Oh, Timmins knows they need it. I smothered beautifully. It was, I think it must have been Kennedy. Hawkins walked across and gave him that famous salute of slapping the hands, which you see so much in cricket now. Crow does battle with Roach. He gets all over the top of him. Crow takes the free kick, and Michael Roach has had a miserable day. Max Crow, a very, very wise signing up. Very handy to have a big man of these skills, even though he's in the twilight of his distinguished career. Stephen Wallace says thank you. What a great pass that was. Here we go, McGuinness. McGuinness out wide. What a good pass towards Somerville. Over the back it goes. Petraglia goes after it. There's a chance now for a good hand pass from Smith. Notting can't take it. Diving after it is and crawling after it that time was Eustace. Taken away. Should have been a free kick to Footscray that time. Hawkins and Hawkins wins it as usual. Then got it out to McGuinness. On to Wallace's lovely football. Wallace took him. No, he didn't. Did it well to Somerville. Somerville down towards the boundary line. And Wallace again boots him into attack. Underneath it is Beasley. Out wide he goes. Hotly pursued by Strawn. And Simon's played well in his 100th game as the ball is taken over the line out of bounds. He has played well in his 100th game and he's, uh, he's 30 in a couple of days' time, I believe. And once more, he's kicked six goals. Great effort for him. Ruckman there. Oh, whipped away there by uh, Roy Somerville. <laughs> the young fella, his third goal. And it's very nice to see... Uh, that he and Doug Hawkins is going to come out and congratulate him, a boy that came up through the district uh, and, and through the under-19s. There he is out there, strutting his stuff. Three goals to match like this is a good effort. <laughs> he gives away <laughs> there. And uh, another illustrious man who came from the district was Doug Hawkins, of course. Lee takes it with him, is well tackled by Crow. Good work, Crow. He indicates ball was helping, which umpire agrees with. And there'll be another ball up. Throw the Ruckman out, of course, as Andrew Thurst is having a rest. The league continues to battle it out of the centre. Geez, good player Wallace. A real feel for it in a second. Oh, a lovely catch, Notting. Really a good mark, that. One of the younger brigade. Half back now. And back to the centre. There's an army of players there, and Perot gets up. Shuffled them a bit today. Yes, he shouldn't have missed that one, Jeff, no. did he? It was all his. He got the position beautifully and then really missed one just above head high. It was an easy one. Well, the winter sunshine. And my word, it's nice to see it. And Footscray are enjoying it very much. Out wide it goes. Here they go again. Now they've lost it. It's lost that time. Eventually, Geary does get it downfield. And Jess has done so well. Should have taken a free kick. He hasn't had a good day with the umpires. And I reckon the umpire must have decided he'd even No, he's given it to Foster. I thought he's going to even up one because Jess, I thought, should have got it. Foster out wide. Here goes Egan. A good run from the back line. That's a night. Did the foot guy play can kick the football? There's no question about it. Kick it a long way. Look at Doug Hawkins in the middle of the back. No, it's Hawkins. Yes, it is. Uh, no one will beat him when it comes to marking on the chest for his ninth mark. Beautifully executed. A delicious pass to Simon Beasley for Simon's tenth mark. Really and truly enjoying his his 100th match in his fifth year. This will be his 11th kick for his seventh goal. Of course, that's if he kicks the goal. And floats up there brilliantly. One of 11 from Simon, and he acknowledges the pass to Doug Hawkins.
Richmond have fallen down. That's the area where they've been beaten uh, along that full forward line. They had no one who could contain Simon Beasley. Young Hogs there now. They had uh, Cowie there before, but uh, Simon's just too good for them on the day. Yes, the Bulldogs are looking very, very good at 121 to 75. Well played, Lee. Over the back it goes from Rollings. And here overruns it. Egan, oh, nicely smothered that time by Eustace. Out wide to Fran Garlis. Fran Garlis is too slow. Wallace gets it out wide. Hit out towards the... Here's a chance now for Mark Lee to hit it down. And there's a lot of fiddling and fooling at this stage. And eventually... The free kick is against Baxter back on the field. And it will be taken, I think, by John and Ian. It certainly is, as uh, John and Ian. It's his 17th kick. And I think he's going for the goal. Oh, it's a dreadful kick. Dropping short, Waitman came in and has marked, and he certainly should kick it. Although he hasn't had a good day today, he's not kicked the goal yet. So it's been a fairly miserable day for the Richmond champion Rover and also champion Victorian Rover. It's only his ninth kick. And he's missed the goal to add insult to injury. It's a miserable day for the Tigers. They've kicked two goals since half time, and at the moment we're 70 minutes into the final term. Here comes Brad Hardy. Nice, easy one. Out to Kennedy. Kennedy has lots and lots of time to send it down towards centre wing position. Crow gets it punched away from him. Nice pick up, or eventually there will be a pick up by McLean. He's got plenty of time. Turns and steadies and hugs the wing position. Downfield it goes. There's nobody at home except Smith. Smith gets it out nicely towards Rollings. Rollings dodge and turns, gets onto his left foot. Kicks it down towards Roach, I think it is. No, it's Cowie on the ground, I think. He's just come on the ground. And it is. Hand passes out wide. Look out, Eustace, you're in trouble. Down it goes, and Michael Roach. Away from him it goes, and here they go through Royal again. And there you go. The Malin. He's slung out by Lovell and, and Waitman. Can he kick the goal with this shot? Uh, yes, he has. Phew. That's taken a bit of the pressure off the Tigers, but they're so far behind they couldn't possibly get up at this stage. They're uh, six goals, three behind. And uh, with approximately ten minutes of play left. Yes, it's all over by the shouting, I think, except for this. You never know. There could be a miracle, but it need to be at this stage. Crow and Lee collide. Crow gets another one down. Mail and a dazzler out towards Wallace. Wallace out wide and Somerville and knocking go. Knocking recovers well. Helped by Smith. Smith will give it across towards Bauer and Strawn. Strawn's got it. Out wide it goes and here's Geary. Back it comes. And Bauer kicks it out wide. They're not gaining much distance with all this fooling around and Cowie's taken the mark. In comes Cheeky, Cheeky Hardy and takes it away from him. Then he's ridden into the ground. What will the umpire do? Well, he's giving him the free kick. Tough decision. <laughs> Hard decision to make. Yeah. That might please the Footscray fans. Here you are. They've got a smile on their face. They're obviously Footscray fans on the outer side of the ground and here's their champion. It's Brad Hardy from the half-back line. Lovely kick. Richmond, big fellas, knock it down, looking for the smaller ones. And Smith for Richmond, two of his teammates there. Strawn is the one who will mark it. He's about centre wing position. Michael Roach is back at full forward now, comes downfield. In front, Geary almost took a good one. McGuinness takes it away from him, or pushed away from him. Falling over was Egan, almost pushed over. Jim Jess, who's been a great trier and a great player earlier for Richmond all day, is now at centre half forward. Crow the Ruckman did it beautifully. And there's his ruck row to McLean. Read the play delightfully. On the half forward line. Beasy with heaps of dash. Gathers it in. Playing like a rover. Marking like a bird. Somerville. Oh, no chance with that one. Nodding high around the neck. The track there gets it. Kicks wildly. Very wildly. I thought there may have been a hold up in play then as he kicked it because he seemed to hesitate for a moment and look over his shoulder. It's not. It's out on the foot. I think he was looking for some of the hand pass, actually, and there wasn't anybody there. Short pass out wide. Nicely taken by Anir. Anir on the halfback flank. Kicks towards the umpire, nobody else. 
Chance for a good run by Palm and a nice hand pass out towards Cowie. Eustace takes the mark between centre wing and half forward flat. Now Roach has given him the lead, but the kick is a shocker from Eustace. He could do better than that. Jimmy Jess uh, and Roach were he aimed it between the two of them. Right to Footscray territory there. Shocking kick, I agree with you. What a wasted opportunity when you've got the world in front of you. You've got all the time in the world. Malin can't take this one. Waitman might. He does. And he gets through a lot of players. They're very clever, Dale Waitman. Ran a long way. An opportunity now right in the teeth of goal for a splendid mark. Who was it, Jeffrey? Frangalis. Frangalis. Gary Frangalis. Well, he started all right, didn't he? He was very lively in the first quarter. That certainly died in the second bit. But, uh, of course, if he kicks a goal... He's a hero. And he does kick a goal. At his second. That won't, won't make a great deal of difference to the result, I feel, at this stage. But it's 17-19 to 13-10. 22 minutes expired in this final term. And it all happened in the third quarter while they're trying to get that ball back. Uh, when Footscray came out in a very, very mean mood with all their players performing at their top to kick six goals, eight to Richmond's one goal, three. Uh, and that was all over then. Eh? 121 to 88. Five minutes left in the final term. Footscray leading. And Max Crow now, the consummate Ruckman. Clean, couldn't get it. Dale Waitman's played some fine football in the last five minutes, and there he goes again. Think it in three goals, two goals rather. Too tall for Rachel. Did he go too early? Kennedy had the mark. I thought it was a mark. And now it's holding the ball against Kennedy. Can't believe it. Can't no, believe that. Neither can I, Jeff. I really don't understand. Look at Rick oh, Kennedy. Yeah. Rowan Saw. Don't blame him either. Yeah. Yeah. register that nothing to be worried about Rick the team is there I think but I don't blame you he'll take your number in a minute be careful shocking decision and back further down the field there's a brawl on and guess he's in the middle of it <laughs> Mark Lee I thought but Brad Hardy there getting excited and Dave Horton says hey look out of it I'd like Hardy to get worried about something it'll take a lot to disturb him and take something that wasn't fair I'd reckon out there, the footscray well, runners out there as well. Well, yeah. well. He's doing a lot of laugh, laugh, laugh. Rabs kicks for goal and puts it through. Five minute mark. Yeah. That's his third. Two in the first quarter. And that's his first for a long, long while. Oddly enough, they've outscored the footscray in this uh, final term by goal. And Hardy is just trotting up there. He's really got his dander up. Uh, redheads use it that way. Funny thing, I've yet to see a, a redhead that hasn't been a good footballer. Back in the centre bounce. Up goes Crow and gets it out wide towards Geary. Geary runs into a barrage of Footscray Guernseys. McLean, brilliant to Malin. Malin, a lovely pass out to centre half forward. And the mark is taken by Suffolk. An immediate reply, if there was ever any doubt, Footscray have shown that they're back in business, and this is the seventh kick for some bit. He's kicked three goals, and resting, not resting, but playing up in that forward pocket. It's a pretty worthwhile performance. 19,000 odd people here today watching this. It's right in the teeth of goals. Strawn comes in and dribbles it through for one behind. Twenty-eight point lead to Footscray at the dying stage of this game. Greg Strawn tries to find Bauer out there, battle with Hawkins all day. Hawkins being the more positive and the better player. And here for Richmond. Phil Malin's had a good match. Bulldogs. Good steal here by Barry Rowlings. Still got a lot of yards in the running in those legs. Carey was a target. Free kick played downfield against uh, McLean, who got into Rowlings then. While the ball is, uh, while you're following the ball downfield, here comes James Jess. 
Drives it across field. Up goes Lovell. Takes a good mark. Played on where he shouldn't have. Gets it back towards Geary. He'll be gathered in by Royal. They're lucky to get away off it. They're not going to get away off it. Well, a fairly scrapping going on there, which continues. The game's over, and uh, just wondering whether there's a scrape. He's going, who's responsible, uh, Footscray or Richmond, or a bit of both, I suppose. Well, it gets it across to uh, Wallace. Low pass up to the track there. It wasn't there. Slipping in front was Smith, and he's marked uh, around about the centre of the field and plays on. Gets a short one in towards Cowie. Big fellow dropped it. Saw Royal coming. Much shorter play in Royal. A lot of endeavour shown there by number 33 for Footscray. Brian Royal. It's isn't, a good he a, isn't he a little bit, Jeffrey? You're quite right. He took on the big timber then and took them on with courage and beat them. Throw down. Ania, who's been a fine player, gets a hand pass over the back. Nice, strong play by Fran Garlis. Lost and a pick up there by Tatsaris, and he kicks it over the line out of bounds. And the match is teetering into time on period, and it's almost over with Footscray 122 points to Richmond 94. And looking for a place in the fires. Here's Crow giving Purser a rest to Ruckman. And the ball, the ricocheted off a boot or a shin. And again, it's out of play. Another throw in coming up. Another throw in as the, some of the spectators are leaving the ground as it's all over now. Mark Lee still fighting desperately for his team. Picked up by Crow, he's done quite well on the ball. Bauer picks it up very cleverly that time. Left foot to downfield. Mr. Hart is the name. <laughs> Takes it so nicely. <laughs> he's a little hardy. Kiss, kiss me, Hardy. A famous uh, statement that, yeah, and his coach can do that afterwards. <laughs> 17 kick for Brad Hardy. He just kicked it to uh, a number of players there. Doug Hawkins, a great player, stuck on that outer wing all match. Oh, and lucky that Wallace was on hand. The ball uh, dropped short, actually. The kick, Strawn comes in. Good mark there by Rance. Play on to the Tigers. Now they've got a four or five of them running at this stage. Uh, they'll have to make something make here and finish off well. Eustace has been a good player. This bloke's their best player to near. It'll be a nice goal. Oh, it had a little bend in the middle of it on the way down there for his 19th kick. Bad luck. Would have loved to have seen him kick that because he's been a fine player for Richmond today. Good evening.